Now I have all the bells I need. This should do quite a bit. Boom, 64k into 150. Holy sh! This blade guy did. Blade has came out along with a few new sets that's literally designed specifically for him. While most people are farming the usual stuff, I spent over 2,000 trailblazing power and obtained a new set of all the new relics and ornaments set. The result is a blade built that went beyond my wildest of dreams, and I will be showing you guys how it looks like today. Hello, Internet! Today we have yet another bladey video. Long give us Disciple and Rudolet Arena, two of the sets that's new, and the description isn't whatever this is. It's literally called Blade Owns Me. Of course, I'm not sure if it's like the absolute best yet. Like, I haven't done my test. Like after I do my test, I'll do my gun as well. But yeah, either way, this is my stat on Blade. And I am just annoyed. I couldn't hit 10k HP here. I so could have if I just rolled some of these better. Like look at this. If everything went into HP instead, it would have been good. But either way, I'm calling that 10k health. We have one to two crit ratio. It's not the highest of crit damage, but I will actually never die. Even at half health, I'm like more tanky than some of your healers. And today we'll be testing this build out in MOC. And guys, I believe I found the actual ultimate team here. If you remember, I've done like a magic team only comp and that shit was broken. Now if we add a blade in here, gosh dang. We're gonna send Groot right into a woodpecker's nest. And by the way, blade's technique is just the best. Like not only does he hit, he also takes some health away from himself right away. So that's already one free stack. Now I know they are mobs, so I'll just show how this entire team would kind of go. Yukong is kind of bad, but honestly Yukong is just for freaking Welt and Lucha. If anything, blade is like a crazy tank that does damage. I like, watch this. They'll hit Blade because I've got the highest aggro value, right? Let me get rid of some of my HP. Like, look at the amount of HP gone. I'm still 5.1k though. More than my Luocha. And look at this damage, guys. Are we serious? 23k right there. Oh, wait. Don't lock on. Not my four eyes. Not my nerd. Stop hitting the nerd. But yes, this is our mod 5, so I'm not gonna like, you know, show too much of it. Now, is Yukon perfect with Blade? Not really, but Yukon is really just to help Welt out. And yo, he is fine on his own. You feel me? 17k right there. And... We proc this right into the second one, instantly one-shotting the two others. Now, if I'm smart, I'll wait for him to spawn his mobs and then kill him, but I'm not. So, I want to see some giga damage right now. Let me get all my attack buffs up into the ults for the Roaring Bowstrings, and then I'll start with Welt's ult into Blade's ult. This ult should be something crazy. Let's go ahead and do the black hole move, send them into the Milky Way. Here we go, Blade. Look at how glowy the blade is. Let's see how much this do. I have so much health and the way he does more damage with his ult at least is that the more health he's accumulated, the HP loss accumulated I mean, the more the ult does. So let's see how much this does. And boom! 32k on a crit. There we go man. And I still have two stacks of rolling bowstrings so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Yeah, 23k as well there. And the uh, skill, uh, the basic skill is not gonna do much but hey, we have blade healed already with Luocha. That's why these two are so nice. And Luocha is also nice with the rest of the two imaginary characters so this team is busted man. Oh gosh, I'm still going, dude. How much would this do? Without buffs, 20k right there. I'm pretty sure all of the buffs are mostly from his um, relics and stuff. And yes, yeah, Longo's Disciple. Crit increases by 8 up to 2 stacks so every time he loses HP. So I have just enough, which is 70 crit rate, to activate my um, planar set. So yeah, I kind of tuned everything. Well, it's more like my relic just ended up being like this. So I have 70 crit rate. And yeah, as you can see, I can crit quite consistently. This guy hasn't even summoned. Has he summoned? Yeah, he just summoned this, and he's already almost dead. If you played MOC this week, you know that's not supposed to happen, so this Blade character is kind of crazy, though. No? Right, and here we go again with Blade. I love it. Whenever I get to use E, I just love it so much, so let's go ahead and go E. I have four stacks now, and I took some health off of me. That's one stack for Longer's Disciple, and the other stack into, well, I'm not gonna even, even do that, but I'll carry it to the next stage though. 21k, greeting damage right there. They're shocked. Yeah, just crossed arms. They're like, you can't believe this, bro. Yeah, we did nothing. That guy just slapped us. But anyway, I'm gonna just go in and do E into Roaring Bow Strings. You're gonna see a lot of me not planning my skill points, but that's because I kind of don't even need to. Let me just do a basic that hurts still into an ultimate. That's all the Roaring Bow Strings is gonna give me. But for now, let's just destroy them. I don't need the buffs, man. Look at the damage I'm doing. What? All right, I can do Roaring Bow String here into Blade's ult though. Let's just see how much this does. I'm gonna try I'm keep focusing on one of the bosses because, you know, that's smarter. Boom, 24k because I didn't crit on one of them. Unfortunate, but hey, it's still a good amount of damage. And already we can see the bosses are almost dead. I'm pretty sure when I tried this before I like built Blade, it was so much slower. 
Okay, they are hitting Blade. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. I was gonna say, if you were gonna hit Blade, it's like heavily stomping on Lego blocks, man. Right, let me just go ahead and do that. 22k right there. One thing about Blade that I like is just the consistency of his damage. It's always that amount. The only thing that goes insane is his ult, which is like, well, <laughs> that's welcome, right? Gosh dang. All right, you're gonna shoot Luocho, which I should be immune to control stuff. Yep, <laughs> I've got FRS on, dude. I can heal myself as well. I'm just giga healthy right now. So, boom, here comes the Roaring Bowstring, and I think Blade has it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can, we can finally use Roaring Bowstring and Blade, because that's kind of weird about the whole speed tuning. If you're too slow and pair them with too fast of, like, allies, they sometimes overlap. So here we go. We have everything, right? What is my stat line? I've got 100 crit almost. 160 crit damage almost as well. I'm gonna call this 10k health, guys. Just let me have it, dude. I have some attack, which he does scale to some extent. It's not good, but it's some extent, right? So how much will I do? I'm gonna do Q here, and by doing Q, I'll take some health off and get my follow-up attack. So let's just see how much damage this does. Boom, 36 into my follow-up. Boom, 35. Just literally two of them. Total it up, you get like, what, 70k? And it doesn't end it. It has not ended yet. This is my perfect speed tuning. Both of my DPSs got the Roaring Bowstring puck. And just like that, in 33 cycles, and you're locking onto Blade. God. That's a death wish right there. And one thing I've noticed about Blade, guys, I think a lot of people underestimate this, but his ability to die when he's CC'd is astonishing. But no, I was gonna say he is a really skill point friendly character. Like all he needs is one E and is good for three turns. So that's crazy. Right, I'm just gonna solo this with Pilo real quick. And here we go with a penultimate challenge. We are in MOC 10. I haven't even tried it yet. Can Blade destroy? Kafka. I have a good feeling that he will. He is just so good. And here we go, guys. The abused child versus the irresponsible mom. I'm also using this team where there's two supports, one healer, and my healers sort of have like 5k attack, so it's gonna be a really high risk, high reward team. But hopefully they keep only hitting Blade, and hopefully I have enough cleanse to deal with anything Kafka does, which I think I should have. And again, we're against Bob, so here's what my plot is. I'll have Yukon with the rolling bowstrings. It'll give it to Bronya, right? It'll waste one of my bowstrings, but I will be giving the second one to Blade, which I think is fair. So now Blade should have permanent uptime on the Roaring Bowstring, so this should hurt. Bang, 40k. That is pretty darn great, no? Wait, we'll let them hit Blade. Uh, yes, please do. He should have the highest aggro value. But never mind, Foxians do also have randomly higher aggro value. <laughs> Why do they keep hitting the Foxians? First they keep bullying Foxes, now they let Tingyun die, and what's next? Yukon's gonna turn into the Hulk? If I call that, that would be worrying. Well, I'll just break one of you. Oh, wow. <laughs> they hit everyone except Blade, huh? I guess that's just how it is, huh? I don't know, guys. And there we go. We activate the follow-up attack from the five charges. Now we should have everything ready, and they're gonna do all their jazz. And yo, we are about to see something crazy, guys. I'm gonna start with charging up this into Bronze his ultimate into Roaring Bowstring. So boom, there goes the crit damage boost into Yukon with the crit chance, crit damage, and attack boost with Luocha's ultimate. And to top it off, we got Blady's ultimate. This should be insane. I did 52k <laughs> with a goddamn healer. So how much will Blade be doing? I have almost 200 crit damage with basically guaranteed chance to crit. Almost 10k health. So yes, this should be very much impressive. Let's find out, dude. How much will you do, Blade? 54k. If that was an AoE like the Wotrace, we would have done like probably 80k. And now they kind of stand really far away, so I'm wondering if my bounce will even hit them. That's interesting, actually. Will I hit them with the bounce? Like here. Oh, what? Uh huh? <laughs> it's just all of a sudden like, yo, combine ourselves into one. All right, 35k right there. I'm having a blast with this team. I'm not even like worrying at all. Okay, now I'm worried. Well, not quite because I've got the Wotrace. But please hit Blade. Thank you. There we go. That's more like it. Now we'll get Blade the turn. And uh, yep, this should be the end. Well, not quite the end yet. This would be the end. Dude, look at the damage I'm not putting. That is some ungodly amount. Right, it's time to like chill for a bit. All right, surely you don't. Okay, there we go. Hit Blade, dude. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Right, whoa. But I think I want to just save up my stuff. Let's just heal up Pranya because she is dying right now. Right, I should kill the one on the side. And now it's a matter of can I survive this guy? Right, we're, we're gonna start like save some skill points actually. We need that for the next round. And thank you for hitting Blade. Thank you for hitting him twice. That's why you never want to put a preservation character beside Blade. I think I am ready to use Bronya's ultimate. I think into Blade's ult as well. Let's just see how much this does. And it should do quite a bit. I've lost quite a bit of health. Ah, dude, I think crit. All that will always happen, you know what I mean? It happens sometimes. <laughs> I ain't got 100% crit. Right, this will break you, which is beautiful. Now I just gotta focus on saving skill points for the next round, actually. I actually never tried this. I always never had to deal with the mobs. Like, at this point, they already died. But what if I kill the boss here? Oh, they just... 
die? <laughs> That's so... Man, what's the point of, like, having a whole... I oh, dude, stop hitting you, Kong, man. What's the point of having a whole animation of summoning Mara acting like... Ah, oh, dude, stop. Oh, what? I got... Uh, there's too many things going on. I got an accomplishment called Gold Lady. What? I wonder what that is. Anyways, let me just do this into Roaring Bowstring. We're against our mummy now, so I do feel a bit threatened. Anyways, we're going to the Wilch's ult here. Actually, that was kind of a misplay. I should have went Bronya's ult first, but still good amount of damage today. And this is why you want some cleanse with Blady here. And especially if you're against Kafka, she has so much debuffs that you kind of need this. I'll go ahead and do that. I should have one more bowstring left. Yes, now I have all the buffs I need. This should do quite a bit. Boom, 64k into 150. Holy shit, this blade guy, dude. If I was fast enough, I might have made it to like use the ult before Roy Bowstring ended. So, kind of my bet there, but either way, we're still doing 26k right there. And the Capcom's already almost dead. Right, I'm gonna just relax a bit because I do feel like I'm using way too many skill points. All right, they do hit blade because they've got a lot of AoE, right? So sometimes they would, and I think Luoch is kind of dead somehow. Is he dead? Eh, maybe not. Let's get Blady to turn. Get the break in. That did 40k almost. Some heals on for Luocha. We will be doing the bowstring here. Okay, now. Kafka does get kind of scary here because you keep hitting Luocha, dude. Right, I need to I need to get a feel up. Bang, get the healing up. And this actually hurts, but it is an AoE, so we do guarantee hit on the blade. And because I've got the field, Blade's hit also heals everyone because you just need to hit the enemy, right? Get Blady to turn again into the Q. That does so much, man. It doesn't do absolutely insane, like on every occasion, but it's just so consistent. Every other turn, I'll be able to get this baseline damage that will absolutely hurt. Right, just stop hitting. Uh, oh, well, no. Right, okay. If I'm dominated, do I still get Roaring Bowstrings buff? What I do know is I'm just gonna buff you up. I should have maybe cleansed off the domination, but I think I'll be fine. I'll just do this into my ultimate. We'll almost break her, and I think I could break her a little if I want to, yeah? Oh, no. But I do have one more skill point. So, yeah. Get rid of that domination. This team is immune to Kafka's whole kit. Except if you just outright kill me like that. Yo! Dude, Luocha is still going on. <laughs> it's not even freaking Blades showcase anymore. It's just Luocha destroying Kafka. Oh, God. All right, let me get some heals going. I mean, we've already won. Let's be real here. We won not only by three-starring. We three-star with some ways to go. There's like two more turns left that I can like mess around with. And with the end... The sweep of dreams. Here we go. That was quick, actually. Three star clear. Are you kidding me? Somehow, some way, MLC 10 was a lot easier than MLC 6 till 9 for me. I'm not sure what's going on with me. But there you go, guys. That's my blade with practically 10k health. 1 to 2 crit ratio, no speed. I've tried him with Brian. I've tried him without Brian. He's doing fine. As I said in my video, talk about if you should pull him. He's just so versatile. Pretty much all you need. That's all I've gotten. I've got HP percent, HP percent, HP percent, and also HP. HP percent. And you might think this is impressive, but not really. It's only like, I guess the boot is pretty nice, and that's about it. The rest are like pretty normal, and you can easily get a blade like this. I think he's functioning absolutely beautifully. And yeah, I do think Luocho with blade is just not okay. They have the same height, by the way. The only difference is this little bed hair thing. But yes, guys, I think blade is absolutely goaded. But you do have to like, beware of Debos. He's pretty weak against Debos, but as long as you have some sort of cleanse, someone like Natasha, you will be absolutely fine. If you have Luocho with blade, that is perfect. The Hispano duo will solo everything. Anyways, guys, that's all today. Hope you guys enjoy and good luck with your Blade pulls. Let me know what you think about Blade. And yeah, take care.